Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what happened to your hair? What do you mean? Just wet. Oh, it's just way too much gel? No, I just got a from a tropical rainforest or? It hasn't dried out. No, today is uh, the site for booking camping where we camp it opens this morning. So I'm, my my wife right now is fighting with everyone else to try and book campsites. So. Yeah, I read the article that you can't do it. Like all of the fancy, like Kill Bear, no, no dice. Kill Arnie, no dice. Yeah, we go to Rockwood up near uh, Guelph. Mm -hmm. And? I don't know, she's on the, the system just opened at nine, so. System opens at seven. Hers, this one, this is Grand River Conservation Authority. Oh. It opens at nine. So, but yeah, I. We booked, we booked one campsite. There was an article about some, something about bots getting in the way. Yeah, well, my wife's there at the university, mm -hmm. apparently, all because you have to book all the fitness times and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if it's her university or other university, or whatever, but um, it's been a real problem that, that people have set up bots to book stuff so regular people can never get a spot. Mm -hmm. They're all taken. Mm -hmm. They're cursing all the uh, computer science uh, students at Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, yeah I, I heard I mean they must be reselling them or something because it doesn't make sense to just book it yeah probably yeah there's a huge black market probably for fitness well if you if you find that black market tell me where it is it's on the dark web <laughs> okay again tell me where it is because I'm I'm game paying black market people when you camp, do you, uh, do you use tents or what do you have for camping? Tents, yep. Yeah, oh, we have a, we have a pop-up trailer. Oh, nice. Yeah. How, does that, um, how long does it set, set up? Can you do it on like one, by yourself? Yeah, yeah. It's better with more people, um, but it's, it's probably 30 to 40 minutes to get everything set up. Oh, nice. Which isn't bad, like it's, uh, the, the worst part of it though, is if you're, when you're coming home, if it's raining or if, you know, the sun hasn't quite come up and it's still moist, then when you get mm -hmm. home, you have to set it all up again to dry because you can't put it away wet or you'll get mold. Oh yeah, that's true. So, but it's good. I bought it used, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago for like 3,500 bucks and we use it two or three times a year. So it's good. Yeah, we were thinking about something like that, especially when uh, Misha was born. Yeah. But um, so far, we bought, I got, a, um, as a, for my 40th, I got a massive tent as a gift. It's, yeah. um, oh, I forgot the name. I stand in it. If, like, if I, if, if I stand in it and I raise my hand all the way up, yeah. I can't reach the top. Yeah. And it's amazingly simple to set up. Yeah. It, and it's uh yeah so it's it's pretty nice yeah the only the only thing i wish i had sometimes camping in the summer is uh, ac yeah because there was one time we went camping it was uh i i felt i felt like i wanted to sleep outside like the top was off like i had like, yeah. on, on the mesh but but it was just it felt like there's no air it's just yeah we just have a fan in ours and the the we were kind of like kitty corner with another trailer last year in this site we had, and they had a huge trailer with a big AC unit. I couldn't sleep all night because their bloody AC unit was so loud. Yeah, I can definitely see that. So, but anyway, I think I think the AC on those big, big ass trailers only work if you have like if a whole if you have a bunch of those trailers side by yeah. side because the noise insulation is good. Yeah. I was thinking of buying like a fifth wheel and a massive truck, uh, selling the house because I'm not, I'm not working, going around the country blogging about my experiences. Good luck. <laughs> I did go <laughs> off the deep end. Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, the I'm a weekend camper. Like I like I like it, but I'm like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm ready to come home. Yeah. Do the same. We do the same. That's why we like going to Rockwood because it's only 45 minutes away. So also like if it, if the weather's bad, you just come home, mm -hmm. you leave all your stuff up there. We've done that before. You wake up in the morning, it's pouring rain. You're like, screw it. We'll just go home for the day. 
And then when the weather clears up, we go back up. It's um, ingenious, actually. Yeah. And once you're in the woods, whether you're in the woods 45 minutes away or four hours away, it's, it feels the same. Yeah. How was yesterday? Uh, surprisingly stressful. I was, oh, yeah? uh, I was trying to express this on my coaching call. I was like, I'm live. I'm not doing. I, I I told you. I think we yeah. talked about that too. It's just like that 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 sensation never left me. Yeah. But I finished my sales page, uh, which I want to share with you because I want to get your feedback on the portion that pertains to your course. Um, I finished my sales page today. I'm going to go through write all of the necessary emails to uh, kind of ready myself for the end of next week, so everything's done. Put yeah. them all in automation. Uh, let's. Oh, shoot. how's your participation so far? Um, in the group, so so. Yeah. Um, Are people logging into the course though, or? It looks like it. So uh, five views of welcome, two views of the microscope method, two views of validating a niche entrepreneurial mindset conclusion. So somebody went through the course, uh, Alexis Anthony, 10 views, average view time of 21 minutes. Okay. Rachel, so cool. yeah. Shauna Daniels. Okay, so yes, yeah, there's, uh, there's some, there's some viewership, definitely. Some people are, Oh, interesting. Validating niche. Okay. Viewers. Okay. Um, yeah, not, not a heck of a lot of uptake on the actual watching of the course. There are some keeners, yeah. definitely, but not, uh, there's not an overwhelming drive to watch the course so we'll see we'll see how this progresses um there might be a there might be a situation like honestly you and i are sitting home working on our stuff yeah there are people with jobs yeah oh yeah i know yeah so it's uh it's not as easy uh come weekend we'll see because uh this is i've opened this up on sunday late night yeah so i'm guessing that somebody will might get to the weekend and want to watch through this yeah, the last uh, couple of days on my course that I'm taking, there's been a few people commenting that they're feeling overwhelmed. There's too much content. They feel like they're falling behind, yeah. and so on. And our so our instructor is basically outlined here's here's the core content that you need to worry about. The other stuff is like you know bonus material. Get to it when you get to it. But you know, same thing. Like every you know, everyone's got full time jobs. They can't just sit there and do the course all day. So. Yeah, and you know what? We've we've had that conversation in um, oh shit. Hold on. Oh phew. Oh, I thought I destroyed my yeah, sales page for a second. <laughs> but then there was a second page. Um okay. So, uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, but here's, here's, here's the interesting thing, because um, we had the same conversation in our course, because Jenna's got to set up, so at least like every day you're supposed to be doing something. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people um, put their hands up and say, like, holy crap, this is, this is intense. You actually, you can't just watch it because it's, uh, for example, you're setting up your Facebook group. Okay. You watched it, how to do it. Now you need to do it. So it's, and then, yeah. then you go back and rewatch it because you might have not captured something from the, from the get go, blah, blah, blah. Um, but her opinion is like, you need to, like all of these steps are necessary for you to succeed. Just follow the steps as, as they are yeah. and you're going to succeed. And somebody said, well, what's, what's optional? And her response was, uh, my goal uh, my goal with this course was not to create anything that's optional in, in fact that you everything is quote unquote mandatory yeah because if you do have optional stuff then the question uh, it, like it begs the question why do you have optional stuff 
Yeah. Like, is this just filler material? Let's take a look. Okay, countdown timer, blah, blah, blah. Challenges, can you relate? Introducing a profitable nutritionist. We've seen this before. Look at that, signatures, oh, nice touch. Course modules, bonuses. Now, here's what I said. Now, I want you to read it and tell me if this is anywhere close to reality. And if it's not, what would you like me to say? So it is. Accelerate your business skills, expose the paradigms in clients' heads, only seek your services and help you position yourself. Um, Don't be like, don't, don't try yeah, to. I, uh, I would probably not say business skills as much as leadership skills. And, uh, and I, instead of expose, I'd say understand. Um, and then instead of help you position yourself, we just say help you succeed. How's that? Okay. How's that for copy.ai? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I know, I know. I was just going to say, actually, why didn't I do that? Accelerate your leadership skills. Accelerate uh, your leadership skills. Now that accelerate doesn't sound right. Develop. Yep. Okay. Times three monthly payments. Woo. It's like how much? Yeah, that's the sheet. Oh yeah, I actually had this as an FAQ. I barely have time for what is going on now. How do I fit this in? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, and I'm and I'm I'm going to be using uh, Thrive Ultimatum as the lockdown feature, so you can only get it over a certain period of time. Okay. This is this is a little cheesy countdown timer. I'm going to have yeah. a proper countdown timer. Well, is that custom for each user? Like it's a, they each get their personal timer? Well, no, because the, the, the period that I'm going to be selling the program for is, uh, is a limited time. So it doesn't matter when you see it. Right. As long as you buy it within that window, you can have access to it. Okay. But yes, there is a, there is a feature that uh, does it per user. Yeah. You essentially, they the way they do it, it's, it's interesting. They don't use it by IP. They, um, what they do is you put in whatever autoresponder you use for email. Yeah. And you use that as the identifier. So essentially they give you a link and you paste that link into the body of the email that you're sending out to welcome people to apply. And everyone who lands on that page from that link is being identified by the email address that they came from. Okay. So even if they change IPs, even if they get on the different device, they if, if they still use that link to go back to that page, yeah, they're still known to be that same person. Okay. Interesting. I've seen other people do, like they they have windows of registration. You can, and then they and then for their next class, whatever that's going to be, they do wait listing mm -hmm. to try and create. Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I was, I, I created without a wait, I, I created the wait list beforehand. Mm -hmm. So it, like if somebody wants to join tomorrow. Yeah, right. sure. But, um, but then I, yeah, I think it might be a good idea to create a wait list if somebody misses out. Yeah. Interesting. We'll see. Well, you'll figure that all out with this launch, so. Yeah. 
So what's the timing of this beta test and then and then your actual paid launch? I'm thinking that um, so beta test ends next Sunday, not this Sunday, the next next Sunday. The um, the bonus training, which I'm going to do, in which I introduce the program, yeah, is going to happen. This is this is the one thing I don't know. Um, I I haven't yet planned. Um, I'll need to watch. The, do I do it on a Sunday of the, the last day, or do I do it the next week? Um, I'm not I'm not really keen on doing it on a work day because. I actually have a person from Denmark from from the UK, so yeah. can do it in the evening because they'll miss it out. They'll miss yeah. out on that completely. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm thinking maybe do it on the last Sunday of the course, like before it closes. Mm, so then I do the training. I introduce the cart opens, and they have a week, and then I'm sending them email, and then okay, the cart closes, and we'll see. And once the cart closes, depending on how many people bought. I'm envisioning uh, starting the next phase in uh, two, two, maybe three weeks. Yeah. So two weeks pause because I need to. So for having my portion there ready and available, that's what the. Uh... May. What's that? May. Something. May. Okay. Yeah. Early May. Is that going to be a lot of work? Because I don't want it to be a lot of work for you. No, uh, not really. I mean, it's work, but it's, I've, I've got, I'll have all the sections pretty much done. I just have to rejig them. So okay, it's, it'll be good, uh, good practice for me to turn. Cause I, I as I build building this one course now, I'm trying to build it in such a way that I can easily transform it for my other courses. Okay. So this, it'll just be, this will be my first attempt at transforming it. Just changing the colors and figuring out what clips I need to re-record and so on. And I'm doing it in a way too, that there's little, there's bits of it where I'm on camera kind of introducing modules, mm -hmm. but then the rest of it is just voiceover on slides. So that way it's easier to, to uh, edit and swap, swap stuff in and out. Yeah. Um, it's, it's nice. It's a nice, nice module way of doing it. I'm, I've been thinking about that as well, because um, especially when you have to edit stuff. Yeah. And like I've been, I've been thinking more and more about what do I say to make sure that uh, I can reuse it afterwards yeah. or um, okay. I'll give you an example. Every time I'm not mentioning beta course in, in this, in this one. Yeah. When I repackage it to sell, I have to all strip it out. Yeah. So it's a pain in the ass to go through everything. And then, um, yeah. And I had the idea last night for uh, for this, my leadership course. And, and actually, maybe I, I'll do it for your, uh, your course as well, if you're up for it, is a bonus at the end of the course that they get subscribed to my management articles mm -hmm. sequence. And then they also get one complimentary coaching session. So, then I, you know, people sign up. I, I have a coaching call with them. See if, if uh, I can help them with whatever they're looking for help with and maybe transition, transition all of that into some coaching clients as well. Yeah. That's, that would be, that's a very smart way of going about it. What happened? You're blurry. I know. It's uh, the zoom's off. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. There you go. You're back. Clarity. Yeah, zoom's uh, zoom's actually uh, working better in terms of um, managing color on this camera. Yeah. Than Google Meet was. I'm seeing that. I haven't. I haven't had to adjust. Uh, settings uh, since we've been talking what's funny yesterday so the zoom after the call it it renders the file or whatever yep and then i started posting that file and then i realized oh should i you know there's a bunch of minutes at the beginning of just waiting or 
yep. whatever. So then I decided, well, I'll put that, I'll just, I'll still drag the file in, into Camtasia and clip the beginning and end mm -hmm. and add my intro and an outro and whatever, and then render it. There's an outro? Yeah, of course. Jesus Christ, I've never watched that far. <laughs> Mostly because I'm part of these conversations. I've got to get the uh, the gears of steel music in there somewhere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so. And uh, what, what happened when you were editing? Or you. you oh, nothing. It's, it works fine. It's just an, step. an extra step. I, at first, I thought it would be, it, this would save steps because I could just use the Zoom file. But I don't, I don't want to, you know make people sit through the first three minutes of just staring at a blank screen or whatever. So it's just a little bit of editing. It's not a big deal. I was looking at my YouTube stats today. I have, I've had 99 unique users or viewers on, on my channel. What videos? Well, just collectively across my whole channel. Really? Wow. And uh, 20, 27 hours or something of viewing time. How? Oh. How is it possible? I don't have a lot of. I'm still only got nine subscribers, but um, like the the quote of the month I put up yesterday had seven views. I think your videos. So you got to go into uh, YouTube Studio. Yeah, and then analytics. Anyway, it's kind of interesting to see all the numbers. 11 point something percent of my viewership is from YouTube recommending my video to people, my videos. Well, I got 11 subscribers. Woo. 2001 impressions, views, unique views, 73. How many did you have? 99. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Traffic sources, YouTube search, external. Okay. I posted all my Thursday thoughts on there on the weekend. Mm -hmm. So it was like uploading. I, I've done 16 weeks of those blog videos. Wow. Time flies, man. I know. Time flies. <laughs> so between uh, doing this every day and, and that every week, and now my video every Monday, like there's, I'm just going to, I'm planning to start tonight my Facebook Live. So there's, I'm going to do that three days a week. So that's three more videos a week that I'm going to have to post. Interesting. Um, what are you doing with all the traffic that lands on your website? What am I doing with it? Yep. I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I mean, you, you sh you're supposed to be uh, aiming for conversions, right? Yeah. So if, if, you're, if you're doing all of this content, it's supposed to be driving people somewhere or asking them to take an action, whether visit your website, whether download something, whether yeah. to watch another video. It's, it's you yeah. know, the, the whole chain effect. Yeah. Um, so the thought then becomes is if you're driving people to check you out on the website, um, how does a how does it link up to what they're doing? In other words, uh, you know you have your first button on the page. Yeah, people click it. This uh, what was what's your? Um, actually, I haven't looked at my analytics in a while too. Yeah, the uh, well, depending on what my subject matter is, I'm linking them directly to. So if I'm talking about my home selling course, it goes to the sign up page for the free webinar. Uh huh. For my interview simulator, it goes to the sales page, I guess, that, where they can either get the free product or any of the upgrades. And for leadership for teams, it goes to the sales page where they can get a free lead magnet or mm -hmm. uh, watch a video, sign up for the course, et cetera. So those, those product related ones go, anything I do include those links goes there. The okay. generic ones that I just send them back to my page, it's, there isn't a specific conversion other than just having them go through my page. Holy shit. Oh my God. What? Just, 
I just discovered that uh, there have been a lot of people trying to uh, access your page. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. I, yeah, when, once you get into these um, uh, analyzing statistics, you've been like, whoa, what the hell? Yeah. I was looking up yesterday. Do, does anyone in your course, do they recommend anybody in particular for help with funnels or ads or anything? Um. Cause I'm, I'm at the point where I feel like I'm just, I'm pissing money away on Google ads that I should really pay somebody who knows what the hell they're doing mm -hmm. to, to help me create them. Well, this is, this is, this is what, um, this is what I've learned from this, from this course is uh, it's, it's not as difficult to create an audience or build a list. I'm telling you. Yeah. I spent probably um, I spent a lot of money. So I spent about $600 on ads. Yeah. On Facebook ads and my list is a uh, hundred people. So that's what it's, it's quite a lot. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry. Yeah. So it's a hundred. So it's about $6 a person. Yeah. Um, now I told you that this, this is atypical. Usually what, what you end up having to pay is anywhere between a buck 50 and two fifty a person. Right. You can do that with Facebook. If you, um, if you set up your ads and get leads, once you have leads, you have the content to nurture them. Yeah. And so you begin to nurture them. So in other words, um, Facebook's ads that focus on leads actually get you, get your email list growing. And then from there, you help people understand the value. If you have your face group, uh, Facebook group created, yeah. then you can have conversations. You want to do your uh, lives? You stream that into your Facebook group. It yeah. creates engagement. People yeah. people get accustomed to you. It's like what Groomo is doing. Like so, you you have multiple touch points. You have yeah. your emails. Open rate is maybe twenty percent if yeah. if you're lucky. You have your Facebook group, which is great. You have your ads running, and then you have invitations to programs. Yeah, all of that combined helps you uh start uh, the process the, the business so this is this is exactly what, what what i'm going through right now and um trying to understand how how this works and what what am i going to do yeah um all right well maybe i i'll i'll spend some time then investigating that so I, 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 I should walk i can walk you through what you need to do yeah okay yeah it's but but you'll have to pick one thing first uh, yeah like what you want to focus on and if it's the leadership coaching, it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. The, uh, I stayed away from Facebook just because when I first set up my thing, I had so much trouble with them. Kind of like you, your ads initially. Just, I concur. Yeah. I concur. So I just said, screw it. I'll do something else, but okay, cool. Well, uh, maybe, uh, tomorrow or the next day, we can set up some time to talk about that outside of this call yeah let's let's do it because um it, it at least the first phase of the methodology definitely works uh can i convert we'll see yeah. um can i explore other topics in that same in in this same process with a beta launch absolutely in fact i'm thinking i'm thinking that um brainstorming a couple of generic topics would be yeah. great or sorry, not generic, but topics that don't tie it to a profession. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because course creation is, um, there's a beauty and the, and the downside. So uh, a lot of people talking about course creation, obviously. Uh, and I'm not one of the big names. Yeah. Course creation lends itself well because there's so many things that are happening around it. How of how to do this? How to get? Um, I mean, even even designing lead magnets, like going through the process of Canva, 
going through uh, talking to people about how you take PLR, how you use copy.ai to improve that PLR, how you add on top of it, how you package it into something presentable, how you create a mock-up, and then how do you sell it or give it away for free so that you get conversions. Like that's that's a meaty subject right there. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I thought I, I thought about this because I thought that this would be like one of those membership classes. It, it takes a long time to explain, but it's very, very worthwhile. Yeah. Um, so outside, outside of the fact, so I'm, I'm an anomaly. There's, there's a gentleman in my program who's teaching technical writing. He's a, he writes technical text for companies, like manuals and whatnot. Um, he's been promoting his course and he's, his cost per lead is a dollar seventy, yeah, and he's over one hundred and fifty uh, people in the first five days. Hmm. So, um, yeah, well, I, I'm spending I don't know thousand dollars a month on Google Ads. Okay, Greg, how about this? How about this? Um, so 12 o'clock, I have this, uh, so coaching hours. So that's, uh, that's taken away. Yeah. Uh, do you want to, you want to jump on the call? I'm just going to, I'm just going to completely transparently share with you all the steps that you need to take sure. to get this done. What time? One? Um, no, well, I don't, I don't think this is going to be like a yeah. people just clamoring to get in. Um, what, why don't we say two? Two, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go step by step because I would love to see I would love to see. Uh, uh, okay, two o'clock. Just thinking through this. Yeah, you um, you you build your sales page on Kajabi, correct? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, let's let's jump on the call at two o'clock and let's walk through this whole process. Okay, I'm shameless. I'm shamelessly interested. How do I build hooks into this so I get? Uh, because you're going to be you're going to be very successful with this. I hope so. You don't have to hope. And I mean the. Yeah. Okay. Two right. o'clock. Yeah. Right. Let's let's, uh, let's put this in. Sounds good. You want, I'll send you a Zoom for that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Or I can send you my Zoom. Okay. Why don't you do that? Let's do that. All right. Yeah. See you at two. Right. Okay. Yeah, see you at two, man. See you. Bye. Bye.